when I was batting on it, I thought 190 would have been a good score, if I'm being honest. But the fact that we managed to get up and beyond um, you know, 230, 240 was, was a fantastic effort and um, you know, proved to be a really difficult chase on there. And I know there's a lot of talks about 275 being a, you know, what, what looked to be a difficult chase, but I was fairly confident if we bowled to our potential like we did today, then we'd have enough in the, bag, in the bank to, uh, to get across the line. So really pleased with how it's all turned out. You, we always knew there was going to be a partnership at some, some stage and the biggest challenge for us was if we could um, stay calm and collected and, and trust that if we stuck to what we wanted to do for long periods of time the, the wicket would do the rest for us and uh, I thought as a, as a whole group we performed exceptionally well and managed to do that and that's testament to the skill levels and to the attitude of, of the team so really pleasing that under that sort of pressure we, we managed to, to come good and, um, and get across the line. He's been brilliant. Yeah, he's uh, you know sometimes having a bit of time away from the game can be a really good thing, and um, he's obviously performed exceptionally well for for his county at Worcester um, in the form of his life with the bat and and obviously the ball as well. And he's taken that straight into the Test cricket, and couldn't be more pleased for him. You know, it's someone that's a big part of the dressing room. Um, you, you always it's always really nice when he he goes out there and performs and. Um, he, you know, he's, he's such a big part of this team and I think that's going to be the case moving forward. Yeah, but, I mean, that's been the same for both sides, hasn't it? It's been very difficult for, for both tough orders um, and I think that's just where, the way the wickets have been. Um, you know, some, some fine bowling on both teams as well. Look, look at the, the two seam attacks, um, are, are very high class. So, um, of course, you're always looking to get better and you're always looking areas you want to improve. and. We want to make sure that we, you know, we're starting well with the bat, um, and that's going to continue to be a, a big focus for us as a, as a team. But you've also got to be realistic about the conditions we've been playing in, and you know, it, it's always the, the next opportunity is the oval to try and put that right. And I thought after being 80 for six on day one, um, to then go out and play in different but still difficult conditions on in the second innings um, and go about things how we did was. Um, a start to, to a real significant improvement. I think, uh, yeah, I've, I've always favoured number four. It's always been the place where I feel I get the best out of myself. I, I think well, if you look at this game, made a decision to, for Moen to bat at number three purely on the situation of the game that's made the night before um, you know, that second innings. And it, you know, that second innings was all about scoring runs. It didn't matter how we did it. How quickly we did it, the approach we took, just making sure that we, we gave ourselves the best chance of doing that. And I thought the way he goes and plays his cricket um, up the order to, to take the game to India a little bit more was a real positive move and, and gave us a, a chance to have a, a real go at them with that middle order as well that followed. So it, it worked in a way, um, you know, to get to a score of, of 245 on that surface was you know, enough runs and um, you know, it's, it's always pleasing when something seems to come on. I've always felt like I've been in charge. Um, I know it can be might not always seem that way with those two guys in particular, but um, you know what? It's, you're always trying to work things out um, and find a, a level playing ground. You, you want you've got two very experienced bowlers that know what they're doing and know what they're trying to do. Um, and there are times where you want to allow them to go and do that, and there are times when you feel that they've done that for long enough now, and it's your time to have a, have a say in things. And, um, Ultimately, every single one of those guys involved in the squad, all the, the whole aim is to, is to win a game of cricket for England. And when when you have that understanding across the board, and there's no selfless, uh, selfish people within a team, it makes it very easy. And um, you know, for for us to be in that sort of position uh, and have a, a group of players that play in that manner is is a delight as captain. So have been times when of course there are certain frustrations that you have out on the field with with players but um that's all part and parcel and probably why they you know they're they're where they are is because they're so strong in their own mind of what they want and um you know what they've achieved beforehand